Day 8, Prayer. Let's read from Matthew 6, verses 5 to 15. And when you pray, do not be like the hypocrites, for they love to pray standing in the synagogues and on the street corners to be seen by others. Truly, I tell you, they have received their reward in full. But when you pray, go into your room, close the door and pray to your Father who is unseen. Then your Father who sees what is done in secret will reward you. And when you pray, do not keep on babbling like pagans, for they think they will be heard because of their many words. Do not be like them, for your Father knows what you need before you ask. This then is how you should pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we also forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For if you forgive other people when they have sinned against you, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if you do not forgive others their sins, your Father will not forgive your sins. What better place to start a set of devotionals on prayer than Jesus' ultimate instructions on how to pray? In a few simple sentences, Jesus lays out the blueprint of how to pray and how not to pray. Straight away from the very first line, we are reminded of how incredible God is and how privileged we are to call him our Father. No matter how small or unimportant we may feel, we have a God who is so immense and so powerful that he already knows what we want before we even ask him. As Jesus continues to pray, he shows us we should approach prayer with an open attitude to what God wants to do in our life. How many times have you found yourself praying the same prayer, ignoring the answer that God has already given, as it doesn't fit with what you want? But what God has in store for each of us is immeasurably better than what we could imagine. Jesus includes in this prayer things which may seem mundane and ordinary. Give us today our daily bread. But this is because God cares about the finer details of our life. Even the small everyday things matter to God. His help comes in many ways, though not just in physical, but also in spiritual things. God hears everything we pray, from the small to the large. Nothing escapes his attention. So give it all to him, for through him we are able to do great things. What better prayer today than the Lord's Prayer, even if you've been praying for many years or just a few days, it hasn't lost its relevance or meaning.